Hi, it's Doodling Debbie again with another video tutorial. This one is going to be on using that low pass filter. Uh, many of the Silhouette users on the Silhouette Plus forum have asked questions about this and some people still aren't sure um, how it's used. So I wanted to do a little video tutorial to go through and show you how the low pass filter can come into play when you're doing auto traces. Okay, I brought an image in here and as you can see there's a lot of broken lines here where they didn't connect and uh, there's also a lot of white and if you try to do an auto trace on images like this you know exactly what I mean but I'm going to go ahead and show you if we do an auto trace on this as, as we normally would I'm going to select the air the trace area first and normally we would go in and we would tick off the high pass filter and we would increase the threshold until we kind of got this all yellowed in. If, lots of times we have to go all the way up to 100%. If we go up to 100% here, this is what we get. So I'm going to go down to the, oh, let's see, about 98% is the best that it will let me do. If I go up any higher, it's going to be all yellowed around. But now I'm going to hit the trace outer edge and see what we get. When I hit the trace outer edge, turning off the high pass filter, I get this kind of gooly gop mess. This would be no fun to use to cut or to try and edit. Let me double click on this to show you all the editing notes, the little notes that would have to be edited. Yuck, no fun at all. So we're going to delete this out and start all over. Bring our image back over here. Okay, I'm going to go back to select trace area. And I'm going to turn off the high pass filter and I'm going to increase the threshold. And I'm just taking a guess at this and you will have to play around with your images as well. I'm going to bring it up to about 85 and see how that works. Then I'm going to go back up here to the low pass filter, tick the box so it's on, and then I'm going to start increasing it to bring those lines together and as I can see I might have to go and increase the threshold just a bit there we go now they look like they're all connected so we're going to hit that trace outer edge and I saw where I left a little bit of his foot out but that's okay for this demonstration now I'm going to select trace outer edge again and there we go I'll move this off here so you can take a look at it. Now isn't that much neater and even if you had to do some editing in it it would be so much more simple because you double click and you don't have nearly the nodes and they would be a lot easier to bring in closer to your image if that's what you want. I actually like this for the um, to do a print and cut on but sometimes I'm more particular and I want it really really close in these edges so I get in here and I do do some editing by bringing these nodes in like this I have to click here and bring that in it just depends on what you want this little bit of white that it would cut around would be okay for lots of projects especially if you're putting it on a white background but if you want to get particular, it's much, much easier to do the editing like this than it would be if we just did a regular auto trace. Well, I hope this tutorial has helped uh, um, you have more fun with your studio software and get in there and play around with it more. And I hope it's helped you to learn how to uh, about using that low-pass filter. So happy crafting, everyone. Have a great day. Bye now.